David Price, member of Team Jordan. What's it like being on that very, very select squad? Uh, it's, it's really cool, man, just to, uh, to get all the cleats and all the turfs and just to have all the boxes show up at the clubhouse. You know, that's uh, it's a cool feeling. And, you know, probably the best part is all the off off the field stuff that you get, you know, the, the elite packs every month and a half or month, you know, that's, um, it can it can be a bit overwhelming at times. You know, my wife is, is fed up of getting all the boxes and then we take the shoes out and then we have so much trash and so much cardboard to cut down. So it's uh, it's been cool. I've, I've definitely gotten a ton of it and I love it. You got that Space Jam pack too, which is pretty yeah. elite. If you're a basketball fan, baseball fan, even, just a Michael Jordan or movie fan in general, that's an awesome package. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, was by far the coolest box I've ever received, you know, with a pair of shoes in it, you know, with uh, the little screen that, that shows the, the preview for it. You know, that was, uh, that was a special. What's the biggest shipment that you think that you have gotten? I mean, they're always right around the same size. Sometimes you'll get not as many shoes and, and more apparel, and sometimes you'll get a lot more shoes and, and not as much apparel. But probably two off seasons ago, you know, I had, they left them at my, the garage, and it was to the top of the garage, and I was, I was blown away. <laughs> and I had been with them for a couple years already, so I expected a lot of boxes, but that was a lot more, I felt like, than normal. All right, so the first, Jordan cleat that we have for you to take a look at is one of CC Sabathia's. This is from opening day, navy blue with the gray. What do you think about those? I mean, those are smooth, man. You know, these were, uh, this was the first pair that I got when I was with Jordan you know, in 2013. Those are smooth, you know, and, and in Tampa we had, you know, really cool colors and they did these really well. <laughs> The next one we got, Del Batances. He's all white, all black, no matter what. Kind of adds to the intimidation factor when he's on the mound closing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that and his 100 mile an hour fastball and his 88 mile an hour curveball that he can throw. You know, he's uh, he's standing on that mound and he's he's already a giant just mm -hmm. on on regular ground. And you throw him on the mound and you add these shoes, you know, that definitely adds to it. Those are smooth as well. Next, Dexter Fowler, you go, we go, so he's got the customization on the bottom, is number 25. These are sharp, all red, don't really see those too often. Yeah, you know, these are these are sharp pair of cleats too as well. Those colors look really good on Jordan, so he, he definitely designed these the right way, and Dexter did well. That's right, it's that Chicago Bull Red, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yep. Manny Machado, so, but the reason why I picked out this one for you to look at is because there's only five Major League Baseball teams that have the color orange yeah. in their color scheme, and this is one of them, Baltimore Orioles. Yeah, I think he's the only guy you know, on the Jordan brand that has you know, these colors, so that uh, they definitely stand out. You, know, you don't see anybody else wearing Jordans you know, with this colorway, so kind of everybody else, you know, our, our colors are kind of similar, and you know, our cleats are gonna differ in, you know, in the colors that we picked out, but they're still also gonna be somewhat similar in, in the same aspect. Mookie Betts, the Garden 12s for the Celtics. That's also very unique because he's doing it for your guy, City Boston. Yeah. I think Mookie did that with all his cleats. You know, he went with these for the Celtics. You know, he's got his red, white, and blue ones for home, you know, kind of for the Patriots. And then he has his black and yellow ones for the Bruins. He chose to do that. I mean, I, I like these a lot because he's got, um, He's got batting gloves to go with it, so whenever he has, you know, these these shoes on and and those batting gloves on, you know, that's uh, that's a good look. <laughs> Next, we got to come to yours before we get you out of here. You got the numbers on the side, and again, kind of like what you're saying before about Dexter Fowler, it's that Chicago Bull red, yeah. but also too it fits well with the Red Sox. Yeah, you know, these were uh, home and roads, you know, just. Um, Two good looking cleats right there, man. You know, if you uh, if you feel you look good, you feel good. And, you know, that's, um, you know, the shoes make the man. And whenever you have Jordans on your feet, especially in baseball, you know, you're a part of a very exclusive group and, and that just makes you feel good. Look good, feel good, look good, pitch good, right? That's right. And then oh, these last oh. two that I, I got to point out. Sick, absolutely. <laughs> Freaking the six rings. You know, I got these for, for Jackie Robinson today, but you know, I always look forward to you know, getting the Jackie Robinson cleats. And I got these in 2015, I believe. You know, for Jackie Robinson Day. Didn't get to pitch on that day, but you know, whenever I was traded to uh, the Blue Jays, I knew this was the cleat that I was gonna wear, man. You know, and I could wear this every day. 
have the 42 on the back to kind of just commemorate Jackie Robinson and everything that he he did for the game of baseball. I ain't never felt that good. Yeah, it was a special. And the final cleat we got for you right here was the day that you did get to pitch, and these look pretty bad on the man. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I remember that day. You know, those were uh, those were special. I mean, that was uh, that was a good looking cleat. You know, to go along with the socks. Those are sharp, man. You know, you don't get to uh, to venture out of outside of your team colors very often. So whenever you get that Memorial Day or Mother's Day or Father's Day start, you get those custom cleats. You know, it kind of makes you feel like you're at an All Star game. You know, and that's. That's what guys get so excited about on the bus ride over from the hotel to you know the first day you're at the field for the home run derby and stuff like that, the all-star game. You know, you're, you're pumped to get to your locker, to, to see how much stuff you have from the companies that sponsor you, and most importantly, to see what kind of cleats you got. You know, it's, um, those are special. As a baseball player, does this situation get any better? No, I mean, <laughs> just uh, when they send us, you know, like eight pairs of, you know, the the rubber bottoms, you know, it's a workout in, it's wearing the in the dugout or for BP. And we don't have a whole lot of space in our clubhouse in Boston, so I'm sure they're they're starting to think of, of things that they're gonna do. They're probably gonna have to rent a pod or something to <laughs> to put Mookie and myself shoes and all of our extra stuff that we have in there. But um, they definitely send us enough, you know, and we appreciate it. You know, it allows us to to sign stuff for guys and give it to them for their foundation or if they have an auction or, or whatever's going on or you know if guys are you know big Jordan collectors and they you know really like the cleats and they ask for a pair you know it's, it's easy for us to, to send them a pair because we have so many of them.